Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and welcome to day three of Vlogmas. For today's vlog, we are going to be doing a keto recipe. I don't know about y'all guys, but around the holidays, I get the biggest sweet tooth. I want to snack on everything. I want so many desserts especially around the holidays you guys this is like the month where all those weaknesses come in so i want y'all prepared i am going to show you a super easy fat bomb recipe a gingerbread fat bomb recipe you're gonna get that holiday flavor it's gonna feel like you're eating a christmas cookie without the guilt so it's super simple literally I say it's only three ingredients. It does have some spices in there, but three main ingredients. They're super easy to make. You can keep them in the fridge. You can have them on hand so you can um, snack on them throughout the month or the week, whatever you want to do. Make a big batch, make a couple batches. You can freeze them. So super simple to have on hand. Um, this is going to be a fat bomb. So it's going to be packed with fat. And what a fat bomb is, you know, when you're doing keto, you gotta have high fat, so it's packed with fat. Um, it's gonna keep you full longer, so you, you're gonna eat like one or two, and you're gonna be satisfied, and they are super simple to make. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I really hope y'all enjoy this recipe, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I put out all my ingredients. You're just gonna want a mixing bowl. You're gonna want two sticks of butter, which is eight ounces, so four ounces each, and we're gonna melt these down, so get a melting a bowl, microwave safe bowl. Then you're gonna go in with a couple spices. We got some ground ginger. We got Got some ground nutmeg and then some ground cinnamon and this is gonna add that great gingerbread flavor if there's any other spice you want to go in with go ahead and do so but these are the three main spices to give that great gingerbread flavor for this fat bomb then we got some almond flour this is going to be our flour base we got some almond flour and then any keto approved sweetener that you want any brand just make sure it's granular form I am going in with swerve granular sugar so let's go ahead and get started I'm excited to make these. Okay, got our mixing bowl. Then we're gonna go in with the flour first. We're gonna go in with two cups of our almond flour. Cup one and two. And like I said, these are super simple to make, you guys. The only thing that does take a little bit is you gotta let them set in the fridge for a little while, but trust me, they're worth it in the end. Two cups of almond flour. Now let's go in with our granular sweetener. We're gonna go in with half a cup. Kinda tends to set a little bit at the bottom. Okay, half a cup of sweetener. Okay, we got our sweetener and almond flour in our bowl. Now let's go in with the spices. So we're going to go in with ground ginger. You can add one to three teaspoons. I'm going to go ahead and add in a teaspoon of ginger. I'll pour it all in there. Then we're going to go in with some ground nutmeg. I'm going to add two teaspoons of ground nutmeg. And I'm pretty sure y'all have all these ingredients on hand, you guys. And then you're, we're going to go in with our ground cinnamon. I'm going to add two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And all the ingredients and measurements will be linked, to, uh, typed out in the description below. Along with the macros. So if you want to know the macros, they'll always be in the description. Okay, and that's it. Let's go ahead and melt down two sticks of butter. Okay, I kind of just like cut my little butters in half so it's easier to melt down. And this is just some unsalted butter. You could buy grass-fed butter, that'll work too, if that's what you prefer. But I don't know, I like to go in with some stick butter for like desserts, it's just easier to have on hand. All right, into the microwave this goes, and I'm glad my microwave has a melting button because if not, I always explode butter. <laughs> okay, I went ahead and melted down our two sticks of butter. Now we're gonna go ahead and add it to our mix. Get all that butter in there. This is all your fat. This is gonna be what. This is what makes the fat bomb. Okay, so it looks something like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix all our ingredients together with a spatula or you can go ahead and use your hands, whatever you prefer. Oh, 
Oh my God, it smells good. I can absolutely smell that ginger and nutmeg. It smells just like a gingerbread cookie. All right, make sure you mix the almond flour well together. You don't want any clumps. Okay, and then when you're done mixing it together, it should look something like this. I know it looks like a hot mess. It's gonna be nice and smooth, but we're gonna go ahead and pop this into the fridge. Okay, after you have your mix just like this, we gotta pop this in the fridge like I said. You're gonna set it in there for three to five hours. I'm gonna do three hours. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but you gotta let it set so we can form little balls and we have our fat bombs. So pop it in the fridge and I'll see y'all here in a bit. All right guys, and we are back with our gingerbread fat bombs. We had them in the fridge for a couple hours. It got nice and set, and now we can go ahead and roll our fat bombs. So what I like to do, I just have a little piece of parchment paper right here so I can set them on. I like to get a cookie scoop, so this is gonna make like the perfect serving size. And we're gonna go ahead and scoop out our dough. You're gonna see that it's nice and firm. We're gonna go ahead and put it in our hands. Look at this, and you can just roll it very simple just roll it into a perfect little circle just like this look at this they look so good oh and they smell delicious so i'm gonna go ahead and repeat it i just put it in a little line you do want to have these in the fridge so they do not melt because it is butter so they will get softened so just keep them in the fridge and i promise you this is a perfect treat for the holidays to get your fat in crave that sweet tooth cure that sweet tooth sorry cure that sweet tooth and nothing beats this without the guilt and also, if you would like, you could add some little chocolate chips on top that are keto proof, some Lily's chocolate chips. You could sprinkle on a little bit more cinnamon. You could probably drizzle on some keto chocolate, like melt it down in the microwave. You can put little drizzles on top if you'd like. Just change it up. Let me know what y'all would like to put on top of these. Comment down below any ideas that y'all may have. All right, you guys, I got my fat bombs all nice and rolled. They should be firm, but they should be soft in the middle. They're full of flavor. So go ahead and store these in the fridge and you can store them in the airtight container or you could freeze them. And then when you want to eat some, you can defrost. I did make 20 of these little gingerbread fat bombs and let me know if y'all happen to give them a try over the holidays. Okay, we're going to go ahead and bite right into them and give them a little taste try. Mmm. Oh my god. These are so good. This is just like a gingerbread cookie. Look at this middle. Nice and soft. Got that great gingerbread flavor. These are, I know gingerbread cookies, they're supposed to be simple just like this, but even just adding a little almonds or like little nut clusters in here, they would be really good to get that nice crunch. Y'all definitely give these a try. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed a Vlogmas number three with this simple gingerbread fat bomb recipe. If you haven't checked out my other Vlogmas videos, definitely go ahead and check those out. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all tomorrow on Vlogmas 4.